Hi, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. I'm going to do a quick walkthrough today of Volume 3A of uh, Sable Strings. Um, just to explain how we're releasing this, we orig originally Sable 3 was going to be a lower priced um, addition to, to Volumes 1 and 2 with just a few extra articulations for Violin 1s and Celli. Um, and then due to enthusiastic user base suggestions and um, our own slight over exuberance during the sessions we gradually added more and more and more stuff until it's kind of grown um, I mean this is 16 gig for the um, compressed size of just the main mics of the of this first part of three, volume three so consequently there is a huge amount of um, legato programming to do which just you, there's no way to short circuit that it takes time to get it right so what we're doing is we're releasing um, 3A as the first kind of batch and then we'll work our way through um, the rest of the programming and then we'll add more stuff in as it's finished as kind of free significant free updates to the to the product so here we go with the first batch so we've got instruments for all of the sections um, and I'm just going to play through some stuff um, so we've got three different types of legato in this first uh, in this first volume, we've got um, the fast legato, which is for doing these kind of uh, these kind of very fast passages. If I, I'm going to change the balance slightly so that you can hear more detail. So we'll put um, a little bit less. In fact, I'll turn the. Let's go to that width. We'll push the dynamics up a bit. Um, so if you hear this. So you can hear I'm just kind of playing slightly ham-fistedly. It's extremely good for doing these kind of fast passages. We've got a separate runs um, articulation, which is a different performance um, and gives you a very useful patch for doing proper runs. Um, so if I play different scales or, um, or major scale. So you get the idea, or you know, um, it's extremely good for doing runs. Um, I'm just hacking stuff in at the keyboard just um, for the purposes of this. But obviously, when you play it in and then tweak it in your door, and just you can get it exactly how you want it. It's um, it's really good for, or, or or just for playing live if you just kind of do a couple of takes until you get it right. And then we've got the trem um, legato trem patch. So that's extremely useful as well. So those are a few of the um, legato techniques for violin ones. Um, extended techniques. Now again, this is an extension on the originals. Um, or oh, I should point out that for the legato, the long notes there are coming from volume one. So although you can you can do short runs um, using just volume three. To be able to really incorporate it properly and to be able to do long starting notes and ending notes and things like that, you need the samples from volume one. So it's an extension on volume one. That's um, there are a lot of things in here that are standalone, but we really, um, you know, this is really adding functionality for owners of volume one primarily. So um, with that in mind, here's um, I might as well stick all the mics on. Here's the multi vib from um, from this new part. And then we've got a variety of other things. We've got a nice crunchy marcato attack. Oops, sorry. <laughs> uh, excuse the clams. We've got sol ponce. Go really nice and quiet. And then we've got a kind of crunchy, slightly distorted sol pont. Not quite as extreme as it is when you get down to the bottom end with the cello. But you can hear you've got a, a good crunch on there. And we've got a lovely trem sol pont. That's really, really quiet. And then you can get to the top end. And also on, the, uh, on a lot of these articulations, we've got the start time thing. So if you play softly, you get that kind of um, 
ba -da 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 -da, that kind of additional start to the note. If you play harder, it will cut into the sample. So that's kind of useful if you are doing something you, like that. And I'm playing softly. You don't want to hear for the after the first note. You don't want to hear that extra attack on the note. You can play harder for the rest of the note. So soft for the first one, then harder for the rest would sound like this. So it it's kind of smooths it over slightly. Um, measure trems. So um, these are these are looped. So you can just go. You can kind of do that forever, or you can use them for these kind of scattery things, I like to call them. Um, again, really lovely stuff. We've got, there is a separate in the, um, over here in the individual brushes, we've got these broken out separately for K5 TM Pro, um, and those will lock to the host tempo. So um, it's really very, very good. I mean, you can stretch. I, I've tested it stretching the 150 up and down, you know, certainly to 30 BPM you don't get any artifacts at all. So that's one of the advantages of Contact 5, it's significantly better um, time machine in there. Uh, here's the 180s. So very, very useful there. And then we've got two new trills, we've got a minor third trill. And these again have that or the attack start thing where you can cut into the attack. And then we've got these lovely perfect fourth trills. And then finally we have um, our disco falls. Um, and again if you want to kind of um, seem to have unbalanced my <laughs> if you want to just hear the close mics for these. And then as usual you can click this little button, you can collapse the stereo width and pan it somewhere else. So if you want to hear those over on this side, you would literally just do this. Um, so I will reset those back to the middle. In fact I'm not going to bother because I'm going to load something else up. Let's have a look at Violin 1 effects. Pop all the mics in again. So we've got a number of different things here. Um, we've got some fantastic slides. So you can hear you can get up and down by using the mod wheel to control there. Um, and then there's a variety of nice little cheeky ones up there. We've got some lovely runs here. Oops, sorry. <laughs> so again, if you use the mod wheel for variations here, so... You can hear there's a, a lot of different um, ver versions of the scales in there. It's kind of great grab bag of fun stuff. Tense longs, love these ones. So these vary throughout the sections. Some of them are um, more atonal than others. There's some a real. We've got kind of gone for as much variety as possible here, um, and then we've got some lovely um, uh, kind of useful little clickety clackety stuff. So there's all kinds of of cheeky little things in there. Um, lots of fun stuff to play with. Um, the individual brushes, as before, you get all of that stuff broken out. So if you prefer to set your template up that way, that's fine as well. Um, violin 2, so so the violin 1s and the celli have the most stuff in at the moment. Violin 2s currently have the sol pons. And again, that's um, we've got a, a slightly different performance there to make it more useful. We've got our measured trims. Uh, 
again with the 180s, um, the usual thing. And then our disco falls as before. We've got, for the violas we have the, su the same stuff. Oh, and also the effects is the same there. Violas we have the same stuff um, in there. The celli, um, let me go into the celli, trying not to, um, actually look, let me play some stuff from the violas. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it kind of short and sweet, but um, don't want a short change. I mean, super, super stuff here. So very useful, the 180s and the falls. Okay, let, moving on, let's do, um, let's do Shelly. Again, we'll, uh, I'm just gonna leave the, the, the uh, actually I'll push the close up so, so hear it in all its glory. Okay, so we've got the same um, kind of thing for the Shelly, for the fast. Um, let's put a little bit of ambient in as well. You can hear the difference. And then if I play with the runs, again, you've got the same kind of thing. And then uh, chromatic. Um, and then again, we've got the, uh, the tremolo legatos. Um, we've got the full complement as before. Oh, with the exception of the Disco Falls, obviously. It doesn't make a huge amount of sense to have Disco Falls in the celli. Actually, I'm now going to get loads of messages saying, oh, but, you know, Disco Falls in the celli are commonly used by Adams. And anyway, um, here we go, Malto Vibs. <laughs> Um, really, really stunning performance there. Fabulous marcatos, uh, lovely solpont. And then again, we've got the um, solpont distorted, a bit more aggressive down here. Easier to get that, that good distortion going um, with the uh, with the celli, with the lower strings. Uh, trem solpon. Fabulous again, really, really useful stuff. Measure trems. And then, you know, the scattery. All that kind of thing. Again, the 180s. Kind of thing. We've got the minor third trills, and then we've got the perfect fourths. A lot more difficult actually on the celli. Um, but we've gone for it. <laughs> You've got the same effects um, as before, all laid out exactly the same way. Um, we've got the basses, um, and again the basses were going back to violin, two viola, and um, kind of things with the sol ponce. And then with our uh, measured trams again. And then with the 180s as well. So you know, a lot of definition in there, even though we've got, um, I haven't even got the close mics in. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so you've got a lot of, a lot of um, power behind those. Um, and then you can, um, you know, if you want to move them around, let's just, for the sake of craziness, put them over here. Um, so all of that good fun stuff is in there. Um, let's just have a very quick listen. Up and down. Um, all of these are things in here. You've got the... Um, and then some nice tense longs. Where are we up here? These are slightly more atonal, these ones.
little bit of pitchy bendiness and then um, some fun stuff and you can layer all of these up and they sound really great with the whole band playing. So that is a quick look through volume 3A. Um, as I say we've got a huge amount of stuff recorded that we're just gradually working our way through but wanted to get this out. We promised when we originally planned the V1 and VC only um, back when we released uh, volume 1 we um, we we promised uh, to get it out at this time of the year so we just wanted to give you guys something to play with and in the meantime we're working hard at getting everything else um, and there'll be updates um, you know coming as, as stuff is completed throughout the throughout the year so I hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching and look forward to uh, seeing you on the next one okay bye bye